For many companies, your HST or VAT number is required on transactions you give to your customers. In this scenario, we are going to add an HST number to our invoice printouts. Note that the level of this customization is intermediate and a strong knowledge of customization is required. Although we are focusing on invoices and an HST number, the process is similar if you are adding a VAT number to a sales receipt, for example. Okay, there are three things we will do in this video. One, we will create a custom field in the company table to hold our tax number. Two, we will update the invoices preferences screen to allow us to update and save that tax number. And finally, three, we will update the invoice template to show this number. And while we're there, we may even add other company fields like email and phone. Sounds good. Let's get started with creating a custom field in the company table. Here I am in method and to create a custom field, we'll go to my profile icon and select account settings. Down here, we'll select tables and fields and now we will search for the company table. Great, there's our table and I will select it. I want to add a new field, so I'll click that button and now it's time to name that field. But stop, this is important. Don't just call it anything you wish. We need to create a name that won't be added in the future by method or QuickBooks in later software updates. Since we are adding a field to a stock table that syncs to QuickBooks, we want to make sure that neither method or QuickBooks will ever conflict with our field name if they decide to add a new one. So let's prefix it with my company name, or at least a shortened version of it, b for you, and then we will put in HST number. Amazing. I'll type in a description and then we will save this field. Cool. It's created and I know you will name it something different. So just remember, make sure that name is unique. Okay. Now we need a way to update this field. Let's customize the invoices preferences screen. We'll go back to our dashboard and since I'm putting our tax number on the invoice, I will update it on the invoices app. If you're updating the sales receipt, you could do this on the sales receipt app. For now, I will click the vertical ellipsis on the invoices app and select preferences. It's here that I want the user to update their tax number right above the save button. So let's go up to the header, expand this menu and click customize screen. This is a published version, so I'll click edit to make a brand new copy of this screen. Okay, first off, there's a small complication. Our custom field we made is not in the list of fields. Why? Because the screen is based on the preferences table, not our company table. So that means we can't use a simple save all action. However, before we get into all of that, let's add in our section to enter in an HST number. We want to match the style of the page. We don't want our section to look different than what's there. Scroll down and I'll right click the cell which holds the section to select a print invoice. Note, I am not clicking the sec invoice print template itself, but the cell that contains it. And then insert a row below it. I know it's tricky to see how the sections are laid out here with the sections embedded in sections. This is why section names are really important. Into that newly created row, I'll drag in a new section, and then I'll name that new section sec HST number, and I'll remove the left and right padding. I'll add a new column in this section, and I want to make this column the exact same size as the other columns. If I check sec invoice print template, it's 60%. So let's do that for my section, and then I'll save. Into the first column of my section, I'll drag in another section and name this one section HST Inner. Then I'll set its left and right padding to none. And for this section, I will add a second row. Again, I'm just copying the layout of the other sections. And to make sure that all my text looks the same, I'm going to duplicate the text labels and then rename them appropriately. HST number for the title, and let's quickly do the same for the description below it. Finally, on the right, I will drag in a text input object and align the cell to the right. I'll check the style for the previous section. It has a width of 360 pixels, so I'll do the same to mine, and then I'll save. Great, let me change the caption of this text input to object HST number, but it's only for me to identify, so I will hide the caption. And then for the placeholder, I'll type in enter HST number dot dot dot. We'll save it. Okay, and now let's take a look at what we got. 
Amazing! Here we have a place for the user to enter an HST number, and it matches the style of everything else. Okay, now it's the tricky part. How do we save and recall this number? What do I mean by recall this number? Let me customize the screen to show you. After a person saves their HST number, they should be able to see it in this text input object when they visit this page. So we need to get the data from the company table and put it in here. And do you know which event to do this in? The load event of the screen. Hopefully you are familiar with events and when they trigger. Let's go into this load event where we see there are already eight actions in it. When a person first loads this preferences screen when they visit it, we want to retrieve the HST number from the company table and throw it into our text input object. I'll add the action retrieve values from table, select the table company, and if you didn't know this, the data is stored in the first record of this company table, which has a record ID of one, since it's the first. So in the criteria builder, we want to specify we want the record ID where it is equal to the number one. The criteria builder just specifies which record has the data we want. So we need to go back and specify which field has the value we want. If you forgot, it's the custom field we made, the B4UHST number. And where will we place the value it stores? I may as well just throw it straight into the text input object, which we captioned object HST number. I'll throw in some internal notes to remember what I did. I'm not very good at remembering things. And we have completed the action to populate our HST field. Let's close this and go on to the next task, which is to save the HST number. We want to put that in this button, the Save All Changes button. So we'll go into its click event. And when a user saves the screen, we want to update the first record in the company table. Add the action Update Fields in Table, and the table to select will choose Company again. The Criteria Builder will be the same when we retrieve that record. We want to specify the record ID where it is equal to number 1. And what field do we want to update? The B4UHST number field and we will update it with the value held in our text input object, object HST number. That is pretty much all we have to do. I will make sure to put in an internal note so I know what this action is doing, and then we will close the action list and then close the designer itself so we can test this out. I'll put in a test HST number here, save all my changes, and now navigate away and then go back into my invoices preferences to make sure that it's saved properly. And there we go. It's loaded in. Huzzah. One last thing. The blue banner telling me that this is a draft version is annoying me a bit. So I will publish this screen. But I should put in an internal note first. Let's go back and customize this screen. And when I'm in, I will open up the screen properties. And here, where it says internal note, I will type in that I added the HST number to the screen. And this will give me an idea what I did in this version. And then I'll save it. Close the designer. And now I can click this link on the blue banner to publish this draft version. See down here, there are my version notes I entered in. And let me hit the publish button. It asks me to verify I want to publish version 2. And I'll publish. And we're done. We're done with customizing the invoices preferences screen. The last thing we need to do is update the invoice print template. This is done in the web report designer, which is accessible from your profile icon, account settings, and scrolling down all the way to the bottom, we have reports and print templates. There are a lot of templates here, so let's search for invoices. And the one we want is the printable invoice. Well, that's the one I want. When I select it, a preview of the invoice shows. So if this isn't the transaction you want to edit, feel free to choose another. Now we don't want to mess up the original. So under actions, you will see the option to duplicate this template. And I will change its name so it says printable invoice with HST number. We'll add in a description to indicate we added the HST number. And I don't need to change any base or detail tables. So click on launch a builder. This will bring up the web report designer, and if you're not familiar with it, by all means, please check out our help center. We are going to add our HST number in the page header band right underneath the company info. 
So select the page header band and then drag its bottom border down to give us room to put our field in. On the right, select the second icon, the database icon, and expand the line with your account name and then expand the company table. There's my custom field B4U HST number and I'll drag that into the page header band underneath the company address. And then let me make it wide like the other address fields. You may have noticed the styling is off. It has a different font, so let's fix that. Go back to the right and click the first icon, the gear icon, and then scroll down in the properties panel and expand styles. I'm going to make a new style here so I can apply it to other text fields. In the drop down, create a new style, scroll down, expand the font, and change the font to Arial. Why am I doing this? I'm going to add some other fields later, as I said. But before we do that, let's see what this looks like now. So hit the preview icon on the top menu. And there it is, our HST number sitting there uncomfortably because we didn't label it. What is this number for? Who knows? Let's label it. Click the design icon up here to go back, make sure our field is still selected, and in the properties panel, scroll up to find text format string. Click the ellipsis, and this format string editor pops up, and select the general tab. Look, we can add in a prefix, so I will add in the prefix HST number symbol, colon, space. Okay, now let's preview this, and take a look at our HST number now. We added in that prefix, so we know what it is. <laughs> Amazing. We're almost done, but I have one final bonus. I want to put in the email and the phone number for our company underneath this HST number. So let me make the page header band a bit bigger. Go to the second icon, the database icon, and I'll drag in the company email field. And then I'll drag in the company phone field underneath the HST number. Okay, now position and align them and make them wider so it's the same width as the fields above them and this is why i also created those styles so i can apply them quickly without changing the fonts again and again great now preview and there we go there is our phone and our email and we should probably also put prefixes on them so that we know it's the phone and email even though that's obvious so we're going to go back and do the whole text formatting on both of these fields so that we can have labels for the fields. And let's preview again. And we are done. Amazing. Have I saved ever? No. Oh, I live dangerously. Let's save it. And close. Okay. One, one final thing. We're going to make this invoice template. Let's make it the default. So we'll go back to our dashboard, go into the preferences for our invoices, and we will change the print template to, let me just search for what, um, H HST. And uh, there we go. Let's save all our changes. And of course we can test it out. Let's go to the dashboard again, open up an invoice. I'm just going to open up a random invoice here, and then I will hit print, and ta-da! There we go. Those are our changes. There's the HST number, the phone, and our email. We are done. I hope you learned something. I know I did. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.